Hello, hello, just over here doing a project share slash uh, showing the fabulous Miss Brandy the recipe book I have done for her. Now, for everybody watching, this is my very first <laughs> recipe book. Um, I literally had no idea what the hell I was doing, so give me a break. <laughs> um, I kind of had to do this a uh, different way than other recipe books that I've seen because the only way I could really bind it without having to do like a scrapbook binding which dear god I hate doing those freaking things because they are just so tedious so when I can I use like a binder ring type system and I'm sorry for the glare right here actually I'm going to talk about this when I take this off all right so what I did right here is I took a cheap little magnet from like Dollar Tree I believe it was most likely um, put a couple of better magnets on it and then right here are some magnets under the heart so that way if she's doing something from the recipe book she can put it in this little plastic sleeve stand up the book and boom it's right there okay so um, I did do a light coat of Mod Podge on the outside covers and the spine you know kitchens do get messy I've never personally used a recipe book but you know I've worked in a kitchen so I know they can get messy so um, this is the only type of paper that I had that had anything to do with food whatsoever so that's what I used then on the back right here I used some uh, wash tape to help with you know opening and closing um, I used some Kawhi cabochons that were kind of sort of food related and obviously spelled out what it was okay so the back this is what I meant by I had to do it a little bit different than other recipes of recipe books I've seen if I had kept this inside I only had a one inch binder ring and quite frankly these didn't fit but I'd already told Miss Brandy that I was gonna be doing a holiday section so it's on the back um, I used some more binder rings up top and then a piece of velcro uh, which probably need to glue back down <laughs> I literally just got done with this so anyway um I did this part with my podge I didn't do like the actual back back with my podge but this way it can she could just you know stick her index cards onto the pages so technically there may or may not be more room in this section than the other sections I don't know but anyway there's like quite a few pages there's one two three four five six and then the cover so all right, all right, we'll fiddle with that later. Anyway, um, I just used a piece of elastic and some Velcro so it wouldn't be flopping around all over the place when she's moving it and using it and whatnot, so. Okay, back to the front. All right, so Miss Brandy, I did write in here, like, on the pages, so if you... Either A, can't read back my handwriting, or B, just want something else, then feel free to cover it up. You're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, but I do know this lady well enough. So right here, for example, these were just the last of the index cards that I had. So, but anyway, there's like a, see what kind of, probably not without... Anyway, I, I promise you there's three pockets right here. So, like, if you find, like, a magazine article or, you know, something like that or somebody gives you a recipe and you haven't had a chance to transfer it onto an index card yet, just stuff it right in here and I'll organize this shit later. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, right here is room for a pen or highlighter or whatever. All right, so the first one is apps and breakfast. Then I used a chipboard piece. So I love you, 
but still these and I will cut you XOXO and then each page has a pocket and there's eight recipe card or uh, whatever index recipe how you gonna put it and then each each section has one that has um, two together for the more elaborate recipes that have like a lot of directions or ingredients or whatnot so that way you can keep that together so I didn't put anything right here right here you can barely probably see my go-to and then an arrow and then she can put a recipe card right there warning one of these will melt your face off thank you that is all so same thing like I said all these have eight cards and then soups and salads jello and whipped cream is totally a salad and same thing with the two put together Uh, chicken chicken noodle soup has been scientifically proven to help you get over a cold slash slash flu so just shut up and eat it mom <laughs> it isn't healthy if it has a pound of ranch on it who cares it tastes good me <laughs> this is a bitch to make but man is it good and then she put another recipe card there and then she can write either measurements or substitutions for things or you know something like that or she can just put a picture of something that she wants to right there um, you can have these when I see some grandkids for Maine and then again with the two together yes I spent all day making this laugh out loud thank God for crock pots Too tired to really cook, but too broke for pizza, emergency dinner, desserts. I need to do 50,000 power walks to get this off my ass and hips. Worth it. Or hips and ass, sorry. Um, simply sweet, but blessed by a Mormon. Which. Sorry, Miss Brandy, I'm not trying to put your religion out there, but. Uh, anyway. Um, you can have this one when your grandkids have great grandkids and then back here she can either put more or um, she could print out her own uh, conversion chart you know like a fourth of a cup is so many tablespoons or whatever she could put a picture whatever she wants to do um, like I said it's my first time making a recipe book so I didn't know exactly what all to put in here um, I try to give her as many places to put recipe cards as possible, which, you know, that's the point of this whole thing. Um, but also gave her room if she wanted to put like a picture of her family or something or whatever. So that is the book. <laughs> and hopefully, hopefully I did good. <laughs> Hopefully it's useful and functional and all the things that it's supposed to be. So, um, also, if she wants to put something on the cover right here, again, totally can. It's just I don't have a lot of food type related items or, or, or you know, paper or anything else. So, I did what I could. Anyway, hopefully you like it, Miss Brandy. And if not, I surely enjoyed spending the money that you gave me for this. <laughs> Love you, girl. Talk to you later. Bye.